means Indian tribes are once again demanding sovereignty over the lands they call home. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amanda Hill and for Cindy Williams. And I'm Pat Callahan. Maine's four tribes, the Penobscot, Passamaquoddy, Maliseet, and Mi'kmaq, make up the Wabanaki Nation, which is supporting two new bills in the Maine legislature. The tribes hope those measures will give them more autonomy. One bill would restore jurisdiction to the Penobscot and Passamaquoddy tribes under a 2010 federal act. The other would implement changes to the 1980 Indian Land Claim Settlement recommended by a state task force. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry joins us now from Augusta with the details. Jackie? Pat, Wabanaki leaders say that there has been a lot of good work done by state lawmakers in recent years. There's still work to do. Some of that work, they say, is overhauling the 1980 Claim Settlement Act, which still blocks Wabanaki Nation and other nations from using some of the federal bills that have been passed in the last 40 years. Welcome, and Louise, Molly, and Dana, Naganujayabonawapskewi. In a press conference, tribal and state leaders spoke on the importance of sovereignty. Inherent sovereignty is the most basic principle. Representative Jeffrey Evangelos is sponsoring a bill that he says would give back to Maine's tribes something the rest of us take for granted, the right to determine their own future. It means simply that the powers lawfully invested in an Indian tribe are those powers that predate New World discovery. Powers, the tribe say, that were taken from them when Europeans took their native lands beginning in the 1600s. The powers that were still not returned when President Jimmy Carter signed the Indian Claims Settlement more than 40 years ago. Since then, Maine's tribes say they have been prevented by both state and federal governments from doing things that would lift their people out of poverty and into prosperity. They say 151 laws have been passed that tribes have not been able to take advantage of. Six years ago, things came to a head when tribal representatives in the legislature who couldn't vote on bills left the state house. We deserve control over the land we belong to. Molly and Dana is the tribal ambassador for the Penobscot Nation. She says there has been a lot of good work, but there is still more to be done. I think America is having a real reckoning with race, and it's uncomfortable at times. Dana's daughter, Carmela Bayer, says she is happy to see how far they've already come and remembers the day Governor Janet Mills signed the Not Your Mascot bill almost two years ago. I'm finally going to go to high school in a state where there are no um, mockeries of my culture. Wabanaki leaders and state lawmakers say they will continue to put in the work. We're going to fight as hard as we can next week. We reached out to some of the state lawmakers who are sponsoring these bills. They were unable to chat with us this afternoon. Next up for these bills, though, they will go before a public hearing, which is the first step before it get, goes on to a vote and then, if passed, signed into law. In Augusta, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.